can't be mean to me for use of the AI filters. Yes, I can. And I will be. Uh, uh, some people use it for malicious intent. Uh, I, I just want to see what I look like in Coraline. Doesn't matter, mate. Yeah, people use it for malicious intent. Doesn't mean what you're doing is okay, though. It's not either or. Both are bad. One is more bad than the other. But the other one is still bad. Let's go over the multitude of reasons why AI is bad. The obvious one is taking jobs. Artists, writers, even the tech pros who are proponents of AI are losing their jobs to AI. Mass unemployment is not good. And it's not being used in a way that, okay, it's taking away jobs. So now you can go off and, you know, get universal basic income. So you don't need to worry about working and you can just express yourself. No. It just makes it harder for you to get a job. It's not being used in this utopian way they were saying it would be used. And it never will be because capitalists do not care about that. And I don't care about the tech bros all that much. But artists and writers, you really want to take away something that is so intrinsic to this human, human soul, that is so unique to humans, and give it to a machine to give you slop that is entirely based off of just random data it is collecting and mining and it's just not good and talking about data that's been collected and mined especially in countries like the us where data privacy laws are very lax compared to places like europe and the uk thank thank you eu for forcing us to take gdpr uh, or an equivalent to it <laughs> the data it is scraping from you these massive companies are just stealing data they are stealing anything they can from you to feed this machine. They are taking your location, they are taking your images, they are taking your social security, wherever. They are taking it to inform their robot. Their robot doesn't care, the robot just spits out wherever. And talking about spitting out wherever, AI, especially when it comes to things like ChatGPT and telling you information, it is just really bad, it's always inaccurate. I have read the papers, I had to use it in my previous job before I knew about the negative ramifications. And even then I felt bad about doing it. And then seeing the results, I felt bad. And then learning about it, I felt bad. It just gives you incorrect information because it is a language model. It is just a guessing the next word. It is like, oh, this next word is probably the best word to put here. It is not searching and grabbing information and being like, oh yeah, this is what's the correct thing. No, it is looking at stuff and like, okay, this is probably the next best word, and so it gives you incorrect information. But through that, it is contributing to this media illiteracy crisis that we have because we have young people and old people alike who are like, I'm just going to ask ChatGPT what the answer is, and then ChatGPT tells you something that is completely incorrect. But these people have been told and taught, oh no, ChatGPT, AI, it's so smart, it's more uh, smarter, <laughs> it's more intelligent than a human, and then they believe it. And then it, they just it refuse to actually search for the information themselves. They refuse to do their own reading. They will ask this robot. They will ask this robot to write their essay. And it is just false information. And they get upset when you tell them they are wrong. When you tell them the AI is wrong. Because it is. And because they have been lied to and convinced that this AI is all powerful, is all right. It's not. And then let's talk about the environmental impact. If you are a person who was like, oh, I love the Whittle animals, you should not be using ChatGPT. ChatGPT has such a negative consequence on the environment. Not just ChatGPT, AI in general. The amount of electricity needed for just one ChatGPT search, for just one AI thing to be created by these image generators, is huge. It just burns through water. We already have a water crisis across the world. We are seeing rising temperatures, which means water crisis will be even worse. We're going to have an influx of environmental migration, which is going to lead to even worse outcomes when it comes to far-right governments demonising people, when these governments are already pushing the agenda that climate change doesn't exist, and then AI is contributing to that climate change by using up so much electricity, using up so much water. When Coca-Cola was stealing water from communities in Mexico, people were up in arms, rightfully so, about that. You should also be up in arms about the amount of water that AI uses to just generate you searching 
um, I don't know, how... Give me a picture of a dog in a hot dog costume. Just ask someone to draw that. It will be infinitely better. You will be helping someone by paying them. And you will also not be destroying the environment. Oh, write me an essay on, I don't know, cranberry juice and its effects on the US psyche. Oh, okay, let me ask the AI to do that. Guess what? Now you can't have cranberries anymore. They're all on fire. It's like, you've got to think. If you refuse to listen to people, if you refuse to listen to the countless papers, the countless individuals telling you the negative ramifications of AI across the board, whether it be ChatGPT, whether it be character creators, anything like that, I'm sorry, but you are going to get picked on by people who know it because for years you have been told this in an educational way, in a kind way, in an academic way, even in like a non-academic way, people have been saying this to you. But now when people are pointing out you shouldn't be using these AI generators, you shouldn't be using ChatGPT, you're going to get upset by that? You're going to try and make excuses? That's more of a reflection on you than the people telling you. It is imperative you stop using AI tools. It is imperative when you are at work, when you are at school, and they are telling you, oh, just pop into ChatGPT. Oh, just put it into an image creator. Microsoft is called Copilot, whatever. You fight back. You say, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to draw it myself. I'm going to write it myself. Actually, little Timmy over there, he's a great artist. Why don't you let him do it? And you give him, I don't know, a hundred extra bucks, Mr. Worker Man, Mr. Employer. Why are you trying to underpay us, undervalue us, and cut corners and get a machine to do it? It is wholly wrong. And you need to start acknowledging that. You need to start understanding that the use of these equipments, the use of these tools, in a utopian world, great. They would make work easier. They would mean you have more time to do other things. They would educate you. But we do not live in a utopian world. And our world is only at the moment concerned about making capital and making money. And all of these companies are purely positioned to make money by hook or by crook. And they will throw you under the bus for it. They are already doing it. So please stop using AI filters. Stop using ChatGPT. And just enjoy reading. Enjoy learning to draw. That is so intrinsically human. Just do it. It would be so much better. And you'll be helping actual humans and not corporations.